Hello guys, welcome to the channel for Mania. So in today's video, we are doing tips, tricks, hidden features and settings for the video of the IQ Z7. This is the 8 GB, 128 GB variant of the IQ Z7 in the Norway blue color. Okay, so first of all, let's start off from the most interesting features. So currently the phone is locked. I am just throwing a swipe down like this. And instantly you can see the camera opens. You can see. And if I just again lock the phone and I just draw an E over here. And you can see it instantly goes to the crop. So you can see the chrome is open how to set up these types so first of all just go to settings and scroll down to find the option uh, shortcut and accessibility and over here you can see smart motion tap on the smart motion and over here you can see smart wake so this is the feature which you are currently turned on swipe down to take a photo just turn it on and apart from that you have few options like swipe up to unlock draw m to play music swipe horizontally to change music these are also available then draw f to launch facebook and the best part is draw e you can assign to any of the apps so you can see if you are a gamer you can assign to call of duty up or something like that so that would be really interesting so that was the smart way and apart from that we have few options like raise to wake double tap to wake and double tap to turn on and off so next is a feature that works like magic so unlocking the phone without pressing any buttons so i'm just lifting my phone up i'm not pressing any buttons and you can see instantly it went to the home screen so how to set this up so first of all just go to the settings and again the same option which i have already discussed that says short connectivity and over here just tap the smart motion and over here smart screen on and off just turn on the raise to wake and then all you need to go to the settings and then go to the security security then tap the face so let me type my pattern and after that you need to re register your face and then the by default stay on lock screen after unlocking would be turned on just disable that what happens is whenever you lift up the phone automatically raise to wake would be turned on and the phone would be automatically lighten up and whenever the face is detected automatically goes to home screen so stay on lock screen after unlocking is disabled so instantly whenever the phone is on it automatically detects your face and it instantly went to the home screen so that is really convenient so let's go back to the same area which we are discussing upon and so that was a short connectivity and uh, uh sorry and smart motion and these are the features and apart from that we have double tap to wake as well as double tap to turn off and then apart from that shake to turn on flashlight is also available that means turn the flashlight on in home screen or the lock screen and the display is on so i'm just on turn on so i'm in the home screen right now i'm just uh, uh shake my phone so you can see the flashlight is on so let me this uh, turn off at all so that was it let's go back to the shortcut accessibility and next is s capture just three finger swipe down instantly takes your screenshot so that is really convenient and i will show you see really simple and if you want to take a long screenshot just tap the long screenshot option over there you can see long screenshot then it would be drag furthermore and it would be take the complete screenshot so you can see and just click save whenever you are done so that's it so you can take the long screenshot like this so you can see wow also you can make some edits over here like writing over there and few more customization can be done over there like this so that is really convenient for the screenshots and that's what that was the s capture area and then apart from that we have a smart split we had doing the screenshot by taking three finger swipe down and for the smart screen split it's three finger swipe up suppose if you're on the chrome i'm just doing a three finger swipe up it asks me to select the next application so if i tap what we call gmail so you can see same time i can access the gmail along with see same time i can access the gmail along with the chrome at the same time so that is also really convenient so let us go back to same location settings shortcut and accessibility so that was the smart split option available so next is quick action that means if you press and hold the volume down button you can assign to any of the application so just tap the quick action just turn on and you can assign to any of the application which is installed on your phone you can see all the uh, list of applications which is installed and apart from that you can use make use of the flash drive record camera and the facebook also so let me assign to the record for the moment right now so i am just logging my phone and if i just press and hold the volume down button so you can see so let me draw my pattern see you can see it is being recording okay so that is really convenient if you are in a quick to open any application you can assign to the volume down button also and apart from that we have press and hold the volume power button so if i press and hold the power button you can see currently the google assistant is appearing which is very annoying for some people so just reassign the power menu so just tap press and hold the power button just tap and assign to 
enable power and emergency menu now if you just go on tapping sorry let me click ok now if you go on tap you can see it automatically reassigned to the power menu okay so that was it the press and hold and then apart from that we have an easy touch so let me turn on and you can see a ball this is almost like assistive touch as we see on the iphone so you can see a ball and i would recommend to keep it on the exact location as same as the power button so that you can find it with ease so you can see it after a few seconds it appears like an edge icon so just tap the area which is close to the power button you can see this would be appears and how to customize this just tap the customize menu and you can see all the apps which is listed on your phone can be listed over there so just tap which are which are your favorite applications is just tap like this which are your applications just tap like this and apart from that you can also have options to select a few of the shortcuts up over here and whenever you are in any of the screen just tap this area and you can see instantly you can go to any of the applications so if i just tap my what do you call video it would be automatically goes to the video and it is really convenient and apart from that if you just tap facebook it automatically went to the facebook so it is really convenient it's like access to touch as we see on the iphones and all so that is really good so that was the easy touch and we have few more customization downs and you can check it out also and let's go back to the same location that's the shortcut accessibility and easy touch then we have a few more options like facebook for video calls uh flash notifications and 100 mode so let me turn on 100 mode and actually it can be accessed with the help of mini gesture that means an inward swipe like this see just an inward out swipe like this and you can reassign like this it is also i will just tap into for the back normal menu so that was it within the shortcut and accessibility and along with that i would like to discuss currently you can see it is currently on the button navigation so just tap the system and you can have the system navigation option over here and just tap the gestures and you are good to go and this is really convenient so swipe up for the home and if you want to go back just swipe on the right or just give a light swipe on the edge for the left you can you are good to go and if you want reasons just swipe and stop at the middle okay and the best part is switching between the apps is like scrolling photos through the gallery so you can just switch the apps like this see really convenient now and the best part is you you can see an icon over that means it's called bottom bar so if you tap hide bottom bar then you can get in completely mushy screen that's uh, really convenient okay so that was a system navigation which is option which is available over here so next is the best part that's the app lock as well as the app hide so first of all just go to the security and over you can see privacy and app permission just tap over here and it was for set a new privacy password so let me go to the pattern and draw a pattern and it's done and it's asked for some questions so it just answers in randomly and you can see two of options one is app encryption which is app log and app hide which is the hiding of the applications so let me start off from the app encryption so just tap on the app encryption and if you want to hide albums so just tap albums and it will be turned on like this and for the next time when i open the albums you can see it is uh, locked and if i then need to draw the pattern for opening and for the next time it will be asking enable fingerprint or face direction so just turn on so the next time and it will be asking for the cam continue so it's done so for the very next time if i open the albums it can i can also access with the help of uh, fingerprint as well as a face but you can see the next time when i open the albums it is not locked but if i once lock my phone and the next time if i unlock you can see it is again locked so how to set each and every time when you open the albums it should be locked so again go to the settings then go to the uh, security and just tap the privacy and permission then authenticating your way face so use password it's done and tap app permission and you can see app lock time just tap over here and currently you can see one minute after the screen is locked or app is closed so you need to reassign that to when the screen is locked or the app is closed so each and every time whenever you close the app automatically the app gets locked so that is it the app emulsion next is the app hiding which is really convenient and uh, if i gonna hide amazon for the moment right now and the how to access these hidden files you can see swipe up with two fingers on the home screen to view hidden apps so just turn on that okay so i am just swiping up with two fingers on the home screen you can see instantly it asks, asks for my face traction or my fingerprint so currently let me authenticate with my uh, privacy protection password and you can see instantly the hidden apps will be there so that is really convenient and uh, so that was it regarding both of them and next is the dual app that means uh two facebook's two whatsapp and all so that is in the apps so tap apps and you can see app cloud so just tap the app cloud and all the apps which supported dual apps would be listed over there so you can turn on the facebook or linkedin or any other applications which is installed on a phone 
to call support will be restored over here and you can see cloning app now if i just go to the facebook and you can see two facebook will be there one is the main facebook and the second one is the cloud facebook okay so next is to the customization of the phone so starting off from the lock screen or whatever so just tap over here and starting off we have the always on display so just turn on and we have some styles over here so you can customize in your own ways which is better right also let me apply this one and uh, it can be automatically seen when you just move your phone gently so if i just you can see this option is by default turned on and if i just lock my phone and uh, suppose it is stable and if i just move it slightly let it be turned off okay now i'm just moving my phone slightly so you can see the always on display is showing over there so that is really conveniently set up okay so let's go back settings and the lock screen whatever and over here that was the always on display and next is the ui color which is the color which is over here currently it's blue and you can reassign to green or whatever color which is over over there or you can reassign based on wallpapers and all uh, or with the help of the color palette options okay and then apart from that we have the home screen settings or the lock screen settings so let's start off on lock screen settings and here we have the lock screen poster over there so just enable now for the moment and over here we have subscription type that means each and every time while you try to unlock your phone the lock screen will be having dynamically different wallpapers based on your personal friends so if you like celebrities you can just keep on liking or if you doesn't like travel then untick those who doesn't like and like those who which is your favorite one okay so if i don't like uh what we call travel then then i'm gonna untick this one and if i don't like information just untick and if my favorite is food i'm just gonna pick that one which is by default over there so that is based on your personal preference and uh, apart from that we can add a text on the log screen so my personal favorite is god is love so i'm just typing god is now and i'm just clicking okay and for the moment i'm just logging you can see code is now text would be shown over here go is now okay so that is it over there and then apart from that you can change the left shortcut and right shortcut but it's, it is very limited so i'm just skipping for the moment right now and apart from that we have the home screen settings which is my personal favorite is this guy i mean swipe downwards on home screen so that means if i just swipe downwards on home screen you can see Currently, you can see it is an annoying global search is appearing all the time. And if you want to uh, get the notification, you need to reassign your hand and then you need to swipe down. So all you need to go to the home screen settings. So just press and hold over here and home settings. So you can see home settings and you can see swipe downwards on home screen. Just tap over here, notification. That means now each and every time, just now you need to just give a, a simple swipe like this instantly when steer notification manner so that is also really convenient okay and apart from that we have few of the smart screen style on and off and phone style so make sure you check it out so next is the display and brightness so starting off from the display and brightness so first of all we have the eye protection mode that means those people who uses the phone in their room without the light turned on must turn on this feature that means it reduces the stress and strain to the eyes so just eye protection mode you can see a light filter is applied over the phone and then apart from that we have the dark theme and i recommend to keep the screen colors to the bright for the maximum vibrancy you can see by default it would be standard, but keep it on bright for the maximum vibrancy and apart from that we have the screen refresh rate options over there so by default it would be on the smart switch i but i do recommend to give it on the 90 hertz for the maximum smoothness all the time if you ever felt that means the phone is running on 60 or your phone felt slower so that was it regarding and this is the 8 gb only new gb but you can make it 60 gb only new gb variant. so just go to settings and you just go to the ram and storage and just tap the ram option over here you can see excellent ram currently it is turned on and if the storage is more important for you just disable this then this 8 gb will be added back to your internal storage now let's we'll check out the camera so this is the camera so starting out from the first thing that's the night mode is available then the portrait mode with the styles you can see styles filters light effects everything is available so that's a really nice and then apart from that we can set the apertures that means you can see the poor some strong the background blur and all and then we have some face uh, reassigning and buffing options uh, like the skin tone widening uh, face retuning and all and then we have the hdr modes mode also and then we have the photo mode we are we are getting a mode then we have the filters light effects options and then we have the hdr mode options and one x as well as the two x and in video we have the stabilization option you can see just tap you can have the ultra stabilization option also you can see ultra stabilization would be one so it's rupee at 60 fps and if you just turn on standard stabilization i think you can go to the 4k at okay you can go to 4k at 30 fps with the standard stabilization so that is really good in terms of the videography and apart from that we are also getting some filters as well as uh, face effects in them in video also 
the maximum video which is can be recorded on this phone is 4k 30 fps and you could not shoot at 4k at 60 over there and then we have a uh, more over there we have the 60 form dedicated for the maximum resolution mode and then apart from that we have uh, live photo which takes us a second previously of the photo and second after the photo is taken and you have the slow motion time lapse promo which can be adjusted up or joy soil balance can be adjusted around all and then along with that we have a vlog more documents double exposure for the dual view which takes videos of front and back at the same time so these are the main uh, features of uh, the uh, iq is at seven so guys that's it for today signing off it's for mania